classrooms, school buses, courses, and cafeterias are similar in most schools. But there are several schools that do not fall under the standard school category. Not every school can provide the quality education that every child deserves. Hello guys, welcome to Top Everything, where you get top 10 videos on any and everything. The greatest way to achieve success is to receive a quality education. Sadly, not every school can provide that. While some schools have excellent results, others lack even the essential elements and are considered the worst places for children to go to. So, let's take a look at the top 10 worst schools in the world. Before moving forward, please subscribe to our channel to see more similar content. So, let's get started. One of the worst high schools in the United States is Vision Academy School. This school has a total enrollment of 180 students. It does, however, have a 45-student classroom. What is the significance of this? It's because the average classroom size in the United States is 16. The majority of the students, almost 70%, come from low-income families. Wait until you find out what the graduation rate is. It only accounts for 29% of the total. The situation has deteriorated to the point where the institution was threatened to close in 2019 due to its extreme economic, academic, and financial issues. Every day, children in Tang Village, Nepal, have no choice but to drag themselves across a scary rope bridge to get to and from school. The trip is a necessity. They have no choice but to travel if they want to receive an education. You can imagine how these children are forced to put their lives in jeopardy just to reach their school. They must sit on a simple fabric loop or a little makeshift wooden crate and manually operate the wire. The Ian Mikado School is located in one of the city's poorest parts. It is regarded as a place for youngsters to redeem themselves who have been excluded from formal education. It's a place where the country's most difficult kids are given a chance to change their ways before it's too late. They accept youngsters between the ages of 11 and 16. These guys are taught excellent conduct principles such as consideration, respect, compassion, and how to maintain personal cleanliness. However, the atmosphere here is not pleasant. Students and staff refer to one another by their first names. The boys use foul language, brawl, and even steal. In the Togo town of Amato, students strive to learn as much as they can in class. However, they are in terrible circumstances. They lacked even the most basic amenities, such as tables and seats on which to sit. You can understand how challenging life can be for these small youngsters. Even pupils from different classrooms are sometimes forced to sit in the same room. Despite their difficulties, these children are adamant about learning to read. Furthermore, because these youngsters come from low-income families, they struggle to pay for their education. However, non-governmental organizations attempt to improve the situation and provide these children with the education they require. Floods are a frequent occurrence in Bangladesh. You won't believe that this situation occurs twice a year, so it is evident that it is challenging for students to attend school. To combat this, they have numerous floating schools thanks to the work of specific non-governmental organizations. There are boats where they may keep receiving lessons. Students are picked up from ports and riversides, then docked somewhere to begin studies. After the class is over, the boat schools return students and pick up another batch. So guys, what did you think of these schools so far? Would you attend these schools if you had the chance? And if you are here, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. So let's get back to our video. Olfa Alternative School is one of the most rebellious schools in the country. There are no hard and fast rules in this place. There are no grades, no deadline, no consequences for minor misbehavior, and no duty to study. It is up to the student to choose their preferred method of learning. If there are disagreements between children and adults, the committee establishes a conflict resolution plan in which both parties vote and express their opinions on what has occurred. The school is in the middle of nowhere, in the desert. Although the school is co-ed, there is just one class. Other difficult situations that the youngsters must encounter are dunes and strong winds. Therefore, they must dress appropriately to protect themselves from the sand. The circumstances aren't always pleasant. 
This school is a terrifying place to be. Violence is a frequent occurrence here. One of the students was also stabbed and police officers were assaulted. Not only that, there are several teen arrests for weapons and drug possession. Ultimately, the level of violence is only increasing. The life of children going to school is not easy here in Indonesia. Every day is a struggle for them. They have to cross a broken suspension bridge above the Sibarang River to get to school. They take their lives into their own hands. The kids cling to the side steel bars of a destroyed bridge and then they cross the river. They take this approach to avoid a 30-minute detour across a different bridge. Syria's education system has suffered dramatically due to the civil war. Airstrikes have destroyed many schools, children are forced to study in trailers, caves, etc. Syrian children, like other children, wake up and get ready for school, but their classrooms does not resemble any other classroom with desks and blackboards. It's a sad situation, but it's the truth. These children's quest for knowledge is undeniable. They are determined to learn even under the most difficult of circumstances. They sit on the floor for hours because they don't have chairs or tables. This isn't their only issue. They also face the threat of being attacked every day. These courageous children have become a worldwide symbol of strength and commitment. So, what do you think of our list? We have seen how difficult it is for some children to even get to school, let alone get educated. If you believe some schools should be added to the list, tell us in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Guys, those are the top 10 worst schools in the world. If you liked this video, follow our other top everything videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. In this way, you will never miss an update from us. We will see you in our next video. Until then, bye and take care.